so this is Deborah. She's come to help me to discuss our last book, which was in September, when we read The Green Road by Anne Enright. And we had a discussion and there was quite a difference of opinion, wasn't there? There was. I think some people were not expecting the structure of the book to be such as it was, which was quite two distinct parts. The first part being more short story style, where we each of the five main characters was introduced, and then the second half being where the characters come together later in life, when they're all adults, um, and they interact with each other. And for that part of the book, I think people felt more comfortable because it was more conventional storytelling. Lots of people were irritated by some of the characters, weren't they? Yes, but to be fair, I think that might have been part of the author's idea because we did come to the view as a group that perhaps they were stock characters, but they were nevertheless developed and they were very individual and quite strong mm. in many ways. Mm. And, the, and the, 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 oh, the mother was quite controversial, wasn't she? I remember people, some people were very annoyed and irritated by her. Yes. Felt that she was a bit of a drama queen. And yes. But I, I'm strongly of the view that, again, this was a, a part played by the author to, to challenge our views of motherhood and challenge our views of what the mother character should be in literature. Yeah. So we had in flashes of insight into the character, but we never really knew her core. We mm -hmm. only knew her emotional side and her interactions with her children. And we learn in the first part of the story uh, that as a mother of young children, her, her, her approach to difficulties was to go and lie down and, yeah, yeah. in a darkened room and leave them to get on with their yeah, own. And, and not even just lie down, take days out, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's an extreme. <laughs> She, but she was a, a, a very memorable character because she, we have these flashes of how different her own upbringing clearly had been mm. compared to that of her children. She'd obviously been educated, she quotes poetry, she goes off and sets up an easel and does some, starts painting watercolour and you think, but this is, we're not given to think that it's a particularly well-off family yeah. mm. um, and yet she has what appear to be slightly as a reader, airs and graces of out, out of context yeah. these, these actions. And in fact, we know we'd gain very little insight to her own childhood or her parents. There's just one mention of that, which is again, I, again, quite playful, I think, on the part of the author, because clearly this woman, Rosaline, has had a very different set of role models for, for, for parenthood yeah. mm. than the one that she's given out. Yeah, yeah. And she's kind of grown lots of her children are very different aren't they in the way they come out the other end of her parenting you know the experience they had yes. growing up under her yes well we've got um her clear favorite son dan who's um who, who he tells his mother is going off to be a priest and that results in one of these episodes of her going off to lie down but we're when you think back in that day, it was a mother's pride and joy, wasn't it? You thought, which but, is again at odds with what you think about. Yes, but we do get hints that she's not particularly strictly Catholic because there's hints that she uses contraception and the only reason they have this fourth child is when they're gone to Rome. Presumably they didn't have access to contraception at that point. So, And there are a few other hints that... She's not a good Catholic woman, mm. so, but, uh, and also there's a doubt, I think there's a doubt cast because we know before, well we know from Dan's story that, um, that he, he goes to America and he comes out, yeah. he's gay, and he's gay in the time of the AIDS. Doesn't she say yes, she always knew? And I think she does always know, I think, and I, perhaps that's the reason she went to lie down, because of the shame potentially of raising a gay son in in times when it was. Or maybe she really could cope with the gayness, but not the vicar, the, the priest as well. <laughs> maybe. And then we've got the other characters who, of course, have Constance, who, of course, is constant. She is. Mm. She stays. She she becomes more the traditional mother. The traditional mother figure, yeah, definitely. Even though she's been brought up by a mother who's not, she's reverted back to sort of type for the book, hasn't she? Yeah. And then we have Emmett, the fairly enigmatic person who 
goes off to save the world. On the other side of the world, he goes off as an aid worker. But he's emotionally distant from everybody. Mm. And again, we expected to draw the conclusion that's because his mother kept him at arm's length. Mm. But he had to physically distance himself by going to the side of the world to, to you know, kind of parry up the emotional distance that he needed to have. Yeah, Weird. Uh, and then, so we've got two girls, two boys, and then the last one is Hannah, who's just a bit of a mess, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Possibly this unwanted, unplanned fourth child. But it is quite, I liked, one of my favourite parts of the book was when the mother's found. And the, it's her that finds her, isn't it? Yes. And they have this moment where, where they just revert to supporting each other in a way that, you know, Perhaps she didn't have it as a child from her own mother, but she's giving it to her mother then. Yes. And that's, I like that. She's, Hannah is a very compassionate character, but she's really mixed up. And that, I think, is part of the joy of this whole book, really. And why I did feel it made for good discussion, because yeah. the characters were there, potentially just to be seen as stock characters, but there was much more to them. They did interact. There's quite an age range between the oldest and the youngest. So, like any family where there's a spread of children, mm. there's going to be different sorts of relationships mm. between each, each to the other. And, um, and then we have, do have this sixth character, which is Moses, the father, who we hardly yeah. find out anything about. And he's just, I think he's there as plodding, keeping the hands on the rein person. But weirdly, even though he's not very well etched out, he, he's, you, he's there as a massive presence in the wife, isn't he? Yes. She... Clearly, he hasn't coped really since he's died. No, and th this is what brings the crisis, which, which brings about the second part of the book where the Rosaline is thre threatening to sell the family home and what the mm. now adult children feel about the place and their inheritance, their mm. childhood, and all the rest which of Which I, I think, and that in that instance, everybody can relate to that because at some point everybody has to deal with that. Yeah, yes, it is. I mean, it's definitely a kitchen sink drama. But it, and it's definitely an Irish novel because you've got all this lovely scenery and the green road itself. It, it is definitely a presence in the book. For Rosaline, I think that's her. That was the real romantic period of her life when she found her husband. She she found herself in this situation where she was orphaned and she probably had to get married. Otherwise, she was going to be told what to do by other members, older members of the family. Mm. But she took her chances, and she clearly had a very loving relationship with Moses. But yeah, as you say, she kind of fell apart when he yeah. when he died, and she couldn't cope. And as what a, do we think? Out of a percentage of people at the at the book club, how many liked it, and how many didn't? I would say the majority were fairly neutral. They neither liked nor disliked. I'd say. Um, I feel firmly in the camp of I like this book. I like the writing. And I enjoyed, and I enjoyed the interaction between the characters, and I liked the book because it did give us plenty to discuss. Yeah. How about you? Yeah, no, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more than the previous month, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, I liked it, and I liked the imagery and um, and the whole family dynamic. I always it's always fascinating to me. So yeah, I enjoyed it too. Yeah. So I I would say yes, I would recommend this book, but it, it nevertheless it's like any book. It's not going to be to everyone's taste. Thanks very much. Thank you.